Today, we are going to react to one of my favourite Disney musical songs. To be honest, it's one of my favourite Disney musicals just altogether. But this song is severely underrated, probably because it's so short. It is from the Disney musical Princess and the Frog. It is Cousin Ray who is going to be singing it. Yeah, to be honest, I just think Ray is just a severely underrated character in the whole Disney universe anyway. I think they should have more Rays around the Disneylands. But for some reason, they don't. Probably because he is... They just made him so hideously ugly. He's got, like, free teeth. Um, he's not the most appealing to look at. But he's got a good heart. That's all that matters in life. You don't have to be the best looking as long as you've got a good heart. Uh, but yeah, anyway... Without any further ado, let's give uh, let's give this a little watch. It's called "Gonna Take You There." Let's go, cousin Ray. All right, Lulu, let's get to it, darling. <laughs> I also automatically, <laughs> I, I must have noticed it before, but I love the fact that he is—he's literally playing a caterpillar as a musical instrument. Gotta love it. Come on, shout! Just follow the bounce and butt. Follow the bounce and butts. We're gonna take it down, we're gonna take it down, we're gonna take it all the way down. All the way down. Hey, that's crocodile. Take it down, we're gonna take it all the way. Oh, I, I just really, really want them to do a live action Princess and the Frog. And I don't want them to like, do like what they do with Tarzan, where they completely change the whole story in the live action version, like they did with the legend of Tarzan and all that. Keep the same plot, the same wacky characters, have a bloody crocodile. I don't know how you're gonna do a live action crocodile that dances and plays musical instruments, but but do it. Do it. Okay, moving on. Down the bayou, going down the bayou. That's what the song should be called, Going Down the Bayou, not Gonna Take You There. It should be called Going Down the Bayou. Taking you all the way, we got the whole family. Look at all his family there. You put oh, Grandma Ma. Grandma Ma. <laughs> she forgot to turn her light on. Your light out. <laughs> Oh my days, this is epic. Can you imagine how beautiful that would be? If this is all live action, if they made this live action, all these little lights, that'd be so epic, so epic. They kind of remind me of the, um, they kind of remind me of the tuna fish from Finding Nemo. We know where you're going and we're going with you. Digging you all the way. Where they all come together and they can make big whole objects out of all of them. Like with the tuna fish in Finding Nemo, they made like the the sad clownfish. Um, and then they also made like an arrow as well, pointing uh, Dory and Marvin or Melvin. Marvin? I think it's Marvin. Pointing them in the right way. Dory and down the digging you all. This musical took me so long to watch. I don't know why. I think the, the animation maybe just put me off it. Oh, yeah, you know. Come on, yo. So when I finally watched it, I was obsessed. <laughs> Keep that line flowing and the lights are glowing. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Cousin Ray. There we go. Oh, my days. If you guys haven't seen Princess and the Frog, you need to watch it. And there's going to be a quick spoiler alert now for what I'm next going to say because it's so devastating at the end of the film when he gets murdered. He literally gets murdered by the Shadow Man. It's, it's so sad. But then he goes up into the sky and reunites with Evangeline, his love who passed away at some point before the movie. But yeah, anyway, there we go. That is gonna take you there. Jim Cummings is the one who voiced Ray in Princess and the Frog. Please like the video and subscribe down below if you want me to react to more Disney musical songs. I've got a few more that are actually coming later on this week. But until then, I'll catch you in a bit. Farewell, my friends.